Setting, Peach Tree General Store on Peach Tree Street, downtown Atlanta, Georgia. Date, past 9 p.m., September 22nd, 1906. Mr. Wilkes checks the customer out at the cash register. The customer leaves. Charles enters from the back storage closet carrying a crate. He moves around the store, collecting trash and scrap. Mr. Wilkes flipped open a newspaper. Huh. City's closing down a bunch of black saloons downtown. Really, Mr. Wilkes? How many? 22. 22? <laughs> Easy there, Charlie. Tell us how you really feel. Sorry, just... I think it's the same. But you're not paying me to think, so... Well, no one's here. Speak your mind. Why is it a shame? 22 businesses is a lot to close in one day. That's 22 owners who now lost their business. Yeah. 22 less competitors for us. Fewer. What was that? Well, I, <laughs> I said sure, but we don't serve alcohol. We especially don't serve alcohol to black folk. White saloons don't serve black folk. Only black folks serve black folk. So if there are fewer black folks serving alcohol... Then there are less drunk blacks. <laughs> we need fewer edu uneducated whites. What was that, Charlie? Huh. I've never seen that thing ring before. Yeah, only one other person has the number for it. Honey, is that you? Why are you calling? Is everything all right? Oh, which saloons? How many attacks does that make? Oh, it broke in the evening extra. Huh. This is what, four? That sounds like trouble. I'll get home as soon as I can, as soon as I can leave the store. Yeah, I know you'll be up waiting. Thanks, honey. I love you, too. All right, we'll finish this conversation later. We need to close up. What's going on? Yeah, on her walk home, Mrs. Wilkes passed a couple of white saloons in Marietta. She overheard a whole mess of people riling themselves up over the news. What, about the bars closing? Four white women were attacked today. All by black men. Said crowd seemed real rowdy. Mad, drunk, rowdy white folk don't sound too swell. Right now, I know, and it does not. Mr. Wilkes picks up a box of goods, but his back pinches. Ow! <sighs> Let me grab that for you. Storage closet. Wait, so, so, so Mrs. Wilkes thinks... <sighs> she thinks tonight might get rough near the saloons. We're not far from them. They look out the front window, but see no one. Mr. Wilkes grabs a metal tin from under the counter. He opens it, removes the revolver, and loads it. Whoa, Mr. Wilkes. I ain't never seen you load that thing before. Uh, hopefully I'm just being paranoid, son. How long did it take you to get home? Well, it depends on the streetcars. Usually a half hour. Gotta you go should get the you should get to stepping then. But, sir? Mr. Wilkes opens the register, grabs some cash, and slides it over to Charles. And there's today's pay. Head home before the route to get rough. Sir, I... Rather, you're doing me a favor. If I keep you here, that's just making ourselves a target. So get home as fast as you can. Well, what about you? You gonna close with that bad back? Yeah, I know. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I got my gun. And I know how to shoot it. All right, sir. Well, I'll be in tomorrow morning. Oh, good. Get to step. A banging coming from outside. They look out the window. This time, blurs of people rush by. Open the door. Please, let me in. Open the door. Charles opens the door. There stands Larry, bruised and panting. They're coming. A whole mob. Get inside. Mr. Wilkes locks the front door. What's happening? They just attacked anyone. 
white folks with knives. They got one of us. You can't let them in here. They'll kill me. They'll kill him. They'll, they'll kill us all. He better shut up. Stop screaming, man. What's your name? Larry. Charlie, you hear that? We're closing early. Larry, I was just about to leave. You want to run out the back with me? No way in hell I'm going back outside. The mob is all over the place. You, you go outside now, you die. Well, none of us should leave then. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> okay. Charlie, you turn the main lamps off. You lock the back door. What's your name? Uh, Larry? You, you slide that table over here. Block the door. And when you're done, head downstairs to the basement. Wait out of sight. How long do you think we'll have to wait? Till they get us or until they're gone. <laughs>